What's up people, this is the Hump Day edition of FTD News and we have flexible girls and drunk girls. Let's jump into today's story. Today's question of the day comes from YouTube user Jennifer Daly and I believe what the question she's trying to ask is would you rather be super super fat or super super skinny and why? Let me know guys, leave your comments in the boom box. Tino McGregor is a renowned international yoga teacher. She has hundreds of thousands of followers on Instagram, millions of views on YouTube, all stemming from the fact that at 19 years old she's the most flexible girl in the world. She can just bend up like I have never seen something bend up before. Just watching her, my whole body was like, ah! Like if my body could actually make a noise, it would have said, ah! Because how do you, like, it, this is, it's hard to do even just this. And then to put your whole head in between your legs like that? No, 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 mm -mm, mm -mm. She don't got bones, that's just muscle and skin. Now, what happens when you mix a group of girls and alcohol, craziness, and disappointment. Down in Britain, a group of drunk girls attacked a homeless man when he asked for some money. They kicked and punched the guy and even pulled down his pants. Like, where is the class in this, lady? I guess it's just the assumption or a stigma, if you will, that English girls are more classy than other girls from other parts of the world. Girls be crazy in every type of area code. Area code. Area, area code. And I say girls be crazy because I don't say b And some news that I'm a little excited about, E3 is going down, but not so much the whole entire E3, but the Nintendo segment. Why? Because Nintendo has always that little extra-ism over the rest of guys. Super Smash Bros. for the Wii U was on display, we've known about it for some time, but it was now revealed that you can import your Miis. And once you're in the game, you can choose a variety of special moves for them. If you like those little fluffy-hearted games, there was Yoshi's Woolly World. And good thing about this game, there's no time limit. Mid. And of course, the epic Legend of Zelda Wii U. This game showed off a really unique painting style graphics. I don't even know what to call this thing. It's not Legend of Zelda Wind Waker and it's not the Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. It's kind of like, I don't know, but it's cool. I like it. And one thing that was revealed that Legend of Zelda fans will definitely love is that this game will be like completely open concept. You can just explore. Like I know Legend of Zelda, um, especially from Ocarina of Time for the N64, it's pretty big, uh, Twilight Princess, big but you know they felt a little linear at times this one no but we just have to wait until 2015 to actually fully see what this game will entail i got links and more highlights from e3 and also you can check out my other channel inform overload we'll be covering a lot of e3 videos over there as well but anyways people that was my five cents on everything in the last episode you guys were asked when do you think the apocalypse will happen and why this witchy commented and said thanks again for tuning in don't forget you can always find me on the facebook on the Twitter and the Instagram. I hit the camera. And I'll see you guys when I see you. Until then, I'm the Rice Said Man Kenton, the original natural bond Jamaican black man. Boom. Out.